Hey filmmaker Shung here. In this video I'm showing you a tutorial. So this time it's not with a preset because this is mainly showing you how to get most out of the standard transitions. So here is a multi-layered transition. So here we go. So you might have seen some TV shows or um, yeah, online shows that have this kind of transition and it's actually very easy to make you literally have to use like several uh, effects multiple times and also um, yeah there's a lot to choose from you can also have like a diamond shape or a different kind of like wipes from one side to the other side of diagonally so here we have like just a normal cut transition however this could be more interesting with like using a multiple layer transition. Inside Premiere Pro you have like several transitions. You have like this wipe and you have also what I also like is the iris and especially the round iris. So this is yeah a very simple transition. It looks a little bit cheap and dull being it like this. To make it more interesting, hold down Alt and drag copy it and I personally like two frames difference. The video below, change the opacity of the layer below to 50. It already makes it more interesting having like a extra ring inside. Also instead of changing the opacity you can also play with like your um yeah color correction tools make it like brighter so that's the ring the first ring is actually brighter or you can go the other way making it actually darker just depending on the style that you actually like you can also like totally offset the timing of it another interesting way is uh, instead of using a clip is to actually use a color mat color mat you can make inside the project tab and then right mouse click on it new item and then choose color mat already have one here actually and we add you can actually try out like the diamond you can actually have like different kind of shapes but personally uh, I like the iris round the most so you can have like a colored circle and to change the color mat you can just double click on the mat or on the clip itself and you can alter the color of it quite easily and then of course you can stack multiple of them on top of each other to make it more interesting actually show you like what you can also do instead of having just that simple offset you can also make something really interesting by having four layers of different of the same transition with 50% like that So you have like multiple rings of different colors to make that transition more interesting. And one thing you can also do is you can change where the rings are with the iris round. You can actually drag each one to a different corner and actually causes a quite interesting 
transition. So here you can see all the circles coming out from different directions to make this transition. And um, the other one I do also like instead of using iris round is using wipe. Wipe is basically just uh, yeah simple wiping to one side. So this is normal wipe. Uh, personally, I find this vertical line not that interesting and most of the time I will choose the top left to make a diagonal line is a slightly more interesting. So that is that. But of course you can also use like choose each to have like a different angle and just play around with getting like a really interesting transition that's really different than other transitions but it's made with the standard uh, yeah transitions and it's not that heavy for your computer to actually play these transitions because they are made for being a transition. One thing you can also play with is the timing because it doesn't have to be the timing that uh, its standards comes with. You can actually make like this be faster and maybe that one actually faster. So they have a different speed when they transition in. So that was it uh, showing you how to do multi-layered transitions. So it's pretty simple and uh, just something you need to just know that it exists. And these are actually not that heavy. And uh, yeah, if you have like a slow computer, you can actually stack like quite a lot of clips on top of each other to get these results. Uh, if you find it's quite annoying to uh, drag these clips because there are so many clips you need to like select, you can also select them all and then nest them into a nested sequence. And it still will have those effects, but now instead of being so many multi-layered it's just one nested sequence clip so that was mainly it so if you like this video please give me a thumbs up if you want to see more videos there are two videos here below and also please subscribe to see more upcoming videos and if you have any questions or suggestions please comment below and i'll see you the next time bye bye